Oh, well, howdy, folks. It is I, BR. And I'm back with another very exciting BR's beer review. Now, I know I say this every episode, but I got a real special one for you today. Why is that, you may ask? Well, I'll tell you. It's because today I will be sampling the very first subscriber recommended beer. I'm excited about this one. A good buddy of mine I've known many years texts me up. He was like, man, you got to try this Lost, Cro Lost Coasts Brewing Great White. That's a fucking mouthful when you say it out loud instead of just reading it off your phone. But anyways, I was like, bud, I will go find this beer and I will drink it. And now I have. So anyways, without further ado, let's do what we do and chug down some of this brew. Pretty tasty. Pretty tasty. So this uh, Lost Coast Brewing's Great White is a Belgium wit or white beer, which is a wheat beer. Um, that probably would have saved me a lot of confusion had I done my research, you know, several years ago. Because to be honest, I'm not a big wheat beer fan. This is good though. This is real good. Um, so before I give you uh, the brewery and beer information, I'm going to let you know what a wit beer is because it's written down on this notepad right here. So a wit beer is brewed using unmalted wheat, sometime oats and barley and spiced with coriander and citrus. Part of the reason why a lot of people will drop an orange slice in there to just kind of heighten that citrus sense. Excuse me. I'm going to wash that down real quick, folks. I don't like fruit in my beer. I don't put oranges in my beer. I don't put limes in my beer. But to each his own, if you enjoy that, do it. You know what? If that makes you like your beer that much more, get her done. Throw a fucking orange in there. Anyways, um, back to the beer. Because that's the real star of the show. Um, this, uh... Great White it seems to be the kind of flagship of Lost Coast Brewing. Um, apparently, when they moved locations from the heart of Eureka, California to just south of the heart of Eureka, California, this was the first beer to roll off their production line. Cool. Um, yeah, good. But, check this out. I did a little bit of research, found out, that they bottle 135,000 bottles of beer a day and fill a thousand kegs. That's pretty awesome. Um, in the future, I hope to try a few more of their, uh, I'm assuming, delicious beers. If they can make a wheat beer taste like this, oh, fuck. I can't imagine what their IPA tastes like. Um, but we're not drinking the IPA. Let's get back to this great white, shall we? Um, I really like it. Uh, the first, the very first thing I thought after taking a sip, well, after I thought, oh, fucking wheat beer, was day drinker. This is a day drinking beer, folks. I'm telling you what, it's getting nicer out. In my neck of the woods, anyways, it's sunny, pretty warm. You know, it's time to get out there, get out in the outdoors a little bit, get out in the yard. I mean, I got a ton of dog shit I got to pick up now that the snow's melted. You know, there's twigs and branches, maybe some leaves you missed, doing some yard work. You know, you need something to drink while you're doing it, and you can't get too fucked up. Get this beer. This is a great day drinker. I mean, shoot, even if you're just going to hole up for the weekend in your apartment, pull the shades, and get drunk by 1.30 in the afternoon, get this. You can chug a bunch of them and feel like you're going to be able to keep your, you know, keep fairly cognitive, at least for... 12 hours of drinking, um, you know, and the ABV's 4.8, you know, it, it's better than your most lagers, but, uh, I feel like folks that are drinking wheat beers, uh, you might tell me, I don't know what a normal blue moon is, but I feel like that's right on par for being able to drink a lot of beers, um, so, fo speaking of blue moons, folks that like those blue moons, those, uh, white, Fang, white, white rascal, I think it is. I think that's an Avery beer out of Colorado. Um, shock tops. 
I think you're going to want to go get you some of this. Because, folks, I got to tell you, this is way better than any of them. And those are my favorite wheat beers. So, I don't, you know, like I said, I don't know wheat beers a whole, whole lot. But, this is pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. Um, IBUs. It rings in at a 15 on the IBU scale. Um, cool. Right on. I actually feel like that's probably where it belongs. It's not that bitter, but that coriander that is brewed into it and the wheat gives it kind of a taste of funkiness. Um, I'm not really sure where to place it on old BR's arbitrary bitterness scale. Originally, I was thinking like one or a half. Now, I'm kind of thinking maybe a three. I don't know. I don't know. It's arbitrary. No one really knows what it means. So, we're going to call it a three. Um, aside from that, I think we pretty much wrapped it up. Uh, wheat beer, Belgian white drinkers, go out get you some. Get you some of this. It's a good beer. I like it. Um, I'm going to finish this. I'm going to finish my six pack. I wouldn't do that with Blue Moons. I'd probably give them away. This beer is good. This beer is real good. Don't be scared because it's wheat. Gluten-free allergies bullshit. Drink this beer. Um, anyhow, that about wraps it up for me. I've started to ramble and that's never a good thing. So it's time to leave. Before I go, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe, follow, share, do what you got to do to make this more popular because the message here is to help you find your new favorite beer. It's all about drinking beer, folks. Let's help help each other find new beers we love. If you have a beer you want me to drink, please comment, and if I can find it, I will drink it, and many of them. Y'all have a good night. Uh, it's Friday. Go crush some. St. Patty's Day is in the rearview mirror. Time to lighten up. Get a little bit lighter beer. Look at that. You're going to like it. Thank you. Thank you all for tuning in, and we will catch you next week.